Hi everyone, this is Rikyong. All right, today I'm going to show you the new feature of the, the V Motion uh, with no share storage feature in vSphere 5.1. So basically, I have this G Sharp client, um, and you can see all my uh, machine here. So basically, I'm just going to show you. I do not have uh, any shared storage on my two ESX hosts. All right, you can see the storage that I have. It's actually a local storage. All right, uh, I have this uh, ESX01, VMFS01, and here I have uh, ESX02, VMFS02. So I do not have a shared storage. Okay, and um, just to let you see that uh, both holes doesn't have stash, I just have only these two storages. All right, which has all, which is the local disk of the ESX server. So let's just browse back to my VMs. So you can see that these are all the VMs that I have, and I have one VM here actually. Um, connected to uh, a port group internet and um, and here I'm just going to show you uh, my network mapping alright so you can see that I have an internet I have um, VM kernel and uh, same thing here I have uh, internet and VM kernel so in order for the vMotion to work, I need a uh, common VM kernel um, IP address. Sorry, I have to mask out so um, I cannot share with you my IP address. Okay, um, so basically, you are, they must be in the same um, subnet for your VM kernel, and of course, the port group must be available in both places. Um, if not, um, your connection for your VM network might not be able to work. Alright, so I have this VM, um, it's called DC4. Um, I'm pinging um, google.com infinitely so we just uh, come back later so if I were to do a migration on the C sharp client and I choose migrate you see that the t last option is actually gray out the reason why this is so although this is 5.1 uh, vSphere client all right it's because there's no more enhancement made all right to the C sharp client just to show you that this is my 5.1 C sharp client so how can you actually do a V motion with no share storage what you need to do is to log into a web client to perform that. So basically, here I have DC4, and I can do a move to. All right, here um, it's now residenting on. Um, let's just go back just to show it to you. All right, it's now running on um, 22, which is my ESX server. So we will just move this to 21. All right, choose OK, and here you will see this option available to change both host and data store. Select a destination. All right, same cluster. Next, we will select the host, which is actually twenty one. Select a data store, which is only found in twenty one, as you can see. All right, and we will keep it as the same format. All right, click next. So we will preserve. All right, and um, click next. So just to confirm, we are moving it to twenty one on the same data store, same format, and optimum V motion. All right. So here we'll click moved, and um, you see that uh, it's actually moving uh, on the web client and on the C sharp client as well. Um, we will not see anything here. All right. So let's just make sure that the ping drops um, bare minimum just like the normal V motion. Alright, 30% has gone across. Alright, my performance may not be good because I'm using on my own home lab and I only have a gigabit switch and all my NIC cards are all one gigabit. Alright. So let's just wait for this for completion. Alright, so you can see that 
um, DC4 actually managed to migrate over and we don't really see any ping drop surprisingly alright and um, let's just go to the summary see where is it hosted now okay so here you can see alright it's now hosted on 21 alright and um, the day star store is on is also here on 21 so let's just do a double check on um, the previous host with his own data store let's do a browse just to make sure that DC4 is migrated successfully with nothing left behind and we are clear of that alright and here we will be able to see on the on this current host alright we can see DC4 so that marks the end of um, the V motion uh, with no storage demonstration. Thank you for watching.